Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Fixing It Up with Sandra. And in case you didn't know, I am Sandra. Um, today we are going to bake a chocolate French silk pie. Um, this is going to come out of my Magnolia 2 um, Magnolia Table Cookbook Volume 2. Um, I know a ton of people had this cookbook and um, if you have it and you've made this, tell me what you think. I have made it before. I absolutely love this recipe. And this is going to be a very simple recipe and the reason why I'm going to show you guys how to make this is because if you're anything like me, I used to be super intimidated by recipes. Um, I didn't grow up cooking. Um, my mom did all the cooking. And so we were just told to stay out of the kitchen, get out of her way. So I really only got to cook or bake with my grandmother. Um, but we didn't get to do things like this. We just baked a lot of cookies, which were fabulous. But I want to take the, um, the, um, what is it? What did I say? I don't want the, the intimidation. That's what I could think of it. I want to take the intimidation out of baking pies and just following a recipe because I know that there's a lot more people out there that are just like me. I still get very intimidated by certain recipes, especially if they have like a lot of ingredients, things that I've never even heard of. And then sometimes I'm just like, I just don't think I'm capable of creating something, even if I follow it step by step. So I'm going to show you how to make this really delicious French silk pie um, recipe through Joanna Gaines. Um, and so you guys can just see how easy it is to whip up this really delicious pie and um, impress your friends and family. So uh, I'm going to turn this around and we're going to get started. Okay, so I know the, cam the camera angle is a little weird, but I want to like always give you guys a different angle um, when you guys are watching me. I don't want it to always be just straight on. So I'm gonna show you, first I'll show you exactly what we're gonna work with. So if you wanna take a screenshot in case you don't have this recipe, I'm gonna give it to you guys. All right, so here is Joanna Gaines's French silk pie recipe, and this is what we're gonna make. However, we're not gonna do a pie crust, we're gonna do a cookie crisp, which she talks about right there. All right, this and her lemon cream pie, oh, so good. And it's so freaking easy. I never knew that making a pie could be this easy. I was, again, I never baked anything like this, so I was very, very intimidated. Um, so in order to make the French silk pie, we're just going to need a small handful of ingredients. Um, we are going to get, again, like I said, I'm not going to use the, um, the pie crust that she has on this photo, in this photo. We're going to do the cookie crust. And this is what I'm using for the cookie crust. Let me get that up there. I found these at Safeway. I went to a couple of grocery stores, wasn't able to find it, but I was able to find these at Safeway. In this recipe, you're only going to need five ounces of the wafers. This is a nine ounce box, so you'll have a few left over to snack on. Um, so we're going to need that. You're also going to need two ounces of unsweetened chocolate and chopped. So what I did is I bought this. There were two slabs that came in here like this. And so each slab is two ounces. So this is what I use. So I was able to, you know, get two pies out of this. Again, find it in the baking section. Um, I have some vanilla right here. A friend made this for me. It's homemade vanilla. Mind blown that you could put vanilla beans in some vodka and have vodka and have uh, vanilla extract. Never knew it. Mind is blown. I love it. And then a couple of eggs right here. You need um, a stick of butter, ooh, a stick of butter at room temperature, and some powdered sugar, and some granulated sugar, some whipping cream, and one stick of melted butter right here. That's gonna be for the crust. All right, so I think we've got everything right here. I do have my mixer because we will need to mix this. There is a little bit of cook time. 
you will have to cook the um, the um, mixture and I'll show you that. I'll take you over to the stove. But in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our cookie crust. Okay, so we're gonna start on our cookie crust. Um, what I've already done is I've ground it up the five ounces that I'm going to need for my crust right here. I did it in a food processor. If you don't have this one, you can use like a rolling pin, throw some of these wafers into a Ziploc bag and just roll over until you get like a really nice um, fine consistency. And we're going to mix this with our butter. So I've already got the oven heated to 350 because that's what you need. And let me just grab a measuring cup so I can mix my, my cookie mixture with the butter. All right, so I've got my measuring cup. We're just gonna toss this all in. And this is super delicious. I am obsessed with like a graham cracker cookie kind of a crust. I don't eat cheesecake, don't judge, I don't eat cheesecake, but I've never had anything with like a graham cracker crust until I made that lemon pie. I'm obsessed with this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna add a quarter cup of sugar right to the mixture. And then we are going to add our um, one stick of butter. I use salted, you don't have to, it's just what I had on hand. Okay, so we're gonna get all of this right here and we're just gonna mix this up. And then we're gonna bake this for about eight minutes. And then while this is baking, we're gonna go ahead and, oops, got a chunk right there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and work on our um, filling. And then also you can make homemade whipped cream to go on top. You don't have to. Um, but it is super delicious when you make it from scratch. And again, crazy easy. So I have a nine inch, um, this is a nine inch pie pan. Um, I love this. I am such a thrifter. I got this at the thrift store. These are normally, this one is normally like 20 to $25, depending on where you get it from. I got it for four. <laughs> The Goodwill is a great place to get a lot of um, dishes. You'd be surprised how many Pyrex bowls I have found at the Goodwill. And the Goodwill, you know what, maybe I should have sprayed this first. Hmm. No. We're not, <laughs> I was just thinking, hmm. But um, anyway, sorry guys. Um, the Goodwill, they sell their bakeware and stuff like that for like four dollars four dog hairs that's it and so i'm gonna grab my little tool real fast that i love to use to smash down the um pie crust i got this little dowel through pampered chef sorry about the wood nail um through pampered chef i absolutely love it love this I use it for so many different things. So I got a whole cookie right there. But anyways, so if you're like, you know, I can't afford to go out and buy really expensive um, kitchen, uh, um, kitchen stuff, go to the Goodwill. Nobody is gonna know if you're like, I'm, not, I'm never embarrassed, I'm always like, hey, let me tell you where to go get the cheap stuff. But, um, you know, if you if you are a little embarrassed by saying that you got it at the Goodwill, nobody's going to know that that's where you got your Pyrex bowls for $4, you know. And then you can laugh all the way to the bank because you just saved a whole bunch of money. But I find, I think I want to, I want to say I got all my Pyrex bowls at um, the thrift store. And I even got some that are vintage. Oh my gosh, super, super exciting. And if you've ever looked at vintage Pyrex bowls, you know $4 is incredible because those bad boys can run, you know, up to $40 for a bowl. So 
as you can see, I'm just taking my time um, to, to smash out my crust like this. Um, it doesn't go all the way up, which is totally fine. This is a really deep um, pie dish. But if you want to make your crust come all the way to the very top, obviously you can put all of those cookies into the um, food processor or crush them up. Just obviously add a little bit extra butter, a little bit extra um, uh, sugar, and then you'll have a much thicker or much higher pie crust. So I'm going to call it good with this. Now we're just gonna pop this in the oven for about eight minutes and just let it get a little crispy, not too crispy. And we're gonna work on our filling. Have you guys ever watched Julie Julia? I was so inspired by that movie, um, but she said there's nothing better than coming home after hard, after working a hard day and whipping some butter up and some chocolate into submission and making a chocolate pie. I always think of that when I make this. But um, anyways, eight minutes and that's what we're gonna do into the oven at 350, 350 degrees. Okay, so now it's time to make our filling. I've got the stove on low. We're gonna whip up two eggs with two thirds cup of sugar. So I'm gonna put this in here and we're gonna whisk this until it reaches about two or 160 degrees. And as you can see, I have my pan thermometer right here. I'm just gonna get this nice and quick. Uh, with stuff. So this is what you're going to see. Can I show, am I showing you guys? So remember, very low. Go ahead and stir. And you're going to keep constantly uh, whisk, whisk. You're going to make sure that all of the sugar d dissolves. Oh, I don't know why I can't speak. And you want to make sure that you're going to continue to whisk and that you have it on low heat because you don't want this to turn into scramble eggs. So we're going to do this until, like I said, 160, and then I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so I have got it up to about 160, and I just want to show you it's liquefied for the most part, and you want it to get to that temperature and you want it to be able to coat the back of the spoon. See that, how it coats? So now we're gonna bring it back over to the countertop and we're gonna start adding our chocolate and mixing this together. My pie crust is already done. My cookie crust is already done. So um, this took about five minutes to, to get to this temperature. So I'm looking at it, yeah. All right, now we're gonna head back over to the counter. Okay, so now we're gonna add our chocolate into that. So, we're gonna add the chocolate and cut it up into little pieces. And then we're also gonna add our vanilla. Maybe I can just break it right here. So just cut that whole piece up and put it into your egg and sugar mixture. All right, it is getting messy over here with the chocolate. Don't worry, my countertop is sparkling clean so I can go ahead and wipe some of this. All right, so you're gonna mix this in. I still have the candy thermometer, which I don't actually need. So pull that out of there. And then you're just gonna whip this in to submission. Let me just get a little closer so you guys see what I'm doing. And this is starting to smell 
real nice. <laughs> And then we're gonna add it to some heavy whipping cream. We're gonna let this cool for a few minutes. And then once we get this all melted, and then um, we're gonna whip up some um, heavy cream, and then we're gonna blend this together. And that's what just gives it this richness and this silkiness. Now I know why they call it a French silk pie, because I was like, isn't this just a chocolate pie? And boy, was I wrong the very first time I made this. I was like, oh my goodness, this is heaven. And I am a chocolate lover. I'm a chocolate snob. Um, so I really appreciate this pie. All right, so let me just pull this back over towards me a little bit. Um, it's just about completely melted down. So it tends to get a little thick. I know I'm seeing in that pot's kind of hard. And then, oh, I forgot to add the vanilla. This is definitely why I have to read the instructions. We're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. Get that in there. All right, now it's even better. And if you know how to make your own vanilla, kudos to you. I am super impressed with this. Okay, so now we have a pretty thick, almost, oh, let's see, almost pudding like consistency. So I'm just gonna keep stirring till I get down, get those other little pieces melted all right we're done boy that does give you a workout on your arms okay let me adjust the camera so you guys can even get a better look at what i'm doing okay so we have our chocolate mixture right here you guys can see that it's getting really nice and thick and while we are letting that cool we're going to go ahead and whip up our butter which is a third of a cup, which is a little bit over five tablespoons of butter. So we're gonna go ahead and whip this and make it nice and fluffy. Okay, so now that I've got the butter whipped up, we're gonna go ahead and whip up our cream. So we've got, I got my handheld mixer and gonna go ahead and it's, this is going to be two thirds a cup, which let me grab over here. So this is what it is. Oop, let me just straighten you out. It's this heavy whipping cream right here. And this is what I think makes this pie. Cause this just is, this makes it better than just your average chocolate pie. So pour that in there. Okay, we're gonna mix this. And what you're waiting to see is stiff peaks. And if you've never done this before, I will show you in just a second what that will look like. Okay, so now we've got it a little thick is what we wanted. And we're gonna add, so this is two thirds a cup of cream. We're gonna add a quarter of a cup of powdered sugar. Now, when you do this, make sure you start out low and slow because this will make a big poof, if a cloud of smoke if you go really fast. So, now we're gonna wait till we see the stiff peaks, which will usually form in about a minute or two.
when you want to see stiff peaks, this is what you want. You want to be able to, when you go like this, pick it up, you'll, your mountains will stay mountains. They won't fold back down. So let me just get, okay. there we go. Now we're going to fold this into our uh, chocolate mixture. Okay, so now remember we have our whipped butter in here. We're gonna add our chocolate mixture, which has been cooled. It's very important that it's been cooled. Let me get it flatter. Now, this has become pretty thick, this chocolate um, mixture, which is very nice. All right, now we're gonna take all of this gooey goodness and blend it together with our butter or whipped butter. And then we're going to mix this together, get all of it. I hate wasting any of this chocolate. All right, there we go. Okay, time to blend. Oops, where is this at? It's a little handle. Let's turn it on. <laughs> All right, let's let it, let's let it do its thing. Okay, now that we've blended our butter with our um, chocolate mixture, it's now time to add our whipped cream, our heavy cream that we've mixed with powdered sugar. And then we're gonna just mix this a little bit more until it becomes light and fluffy and I actually do apologize as I'm looking at my ingredients or my recipe we are actually not going to whip this we are going to fold so that means I'm gonna go ahead and take this off tap out all of the yummy stuff set that aside so we're just gonna Fold this over, which means like this. Just fold and fold and fold. You don't want to stir, but get all the good stuff off the edges. All right. And this, I promise, will be your new favorite chocolate dessert. I'm just folding. You don't want to break down, now that I thought about it, you don't want to break down the whipped cream. And as I go around, I'm just cleaning the sides. And then we're gonna pour this into our cooled pie crust. And then this is gonna go into the fridge for about four hours, even up to overnight. So you can plan ahead and make this delicious pie for your guest or for yourself. Let me just scrape all of this. I make an absolute mess when I'm trying to bake, but that's okay because that means it is delicious. Okay. All right, just about ready. Almost all of the cream is folded in, all of the chocolates mixed together. And you're gonna get this light brown color that just looks incredible. All right, so there's what we end up with right here. Do you see? And then I'm gonna go grab my pie crust and I'll show you how we put it in. All right, pie crust is cool. Now it's just time to add our chocolate mixture to it. 
wait. I cannot wait for the four hours that this will take. <laughs> I'm usually like timing it. And I'm like, okay, is the pie done? Is the pie done? Because I love pie. I love chocolate. It's nothing better. All right, let's get all of this. And we do have some friends coming over tonight, so I'm super excited to uh, share this delicious recipe with them. All right. So we've got that just kind of layer it around. in an even way. It's kind of like putting frosting on a cake, you know, putting this into the, to the pie. All right, there we go. Just try not to get it up over the, uh, There's our pie. Okay, so now that pie is gonna go into the fridge and sit for at least four hours before it is ready to eat. Um, and then I will be back to show you guys how to do the whipped cream, garnish it, and then yes, serve. But in the meantime, we're gonna lick the spoon. So good, so good. All right. We are back and it's been about four hours. And so now the chocolate pie is nice and cool. It looks so good. And it's time to make the whipped cream. So with the whipped cream, and I unfortunately did not save a little bit of my chocolate, um, which you can do just to do like a little shave uh, to garnish, but I have many chocolate chips. So we're just gonna go with the flow. Um, I have my heavy whipping cream right here. I do have powdered sugar, my handheld mixer, and we're gonna make some whipped cream and we're gonna garnish this pie. And I'm still not gonna serve it for about a couple of hours, but I'm still gonna go ahead and garnish it so it's ready um, to serve. So let's point the camera down. Okay, making homemade whipped cream is incredibly easy. Um, I'm gonna show you how real fast. So if you bought something like this, um, you're gonna need two cups of heavy whipping cream. I always love to get the heavy. You can just get regular cream, um, but I like it really nice and creamy. So two cups is what you're gonna do. And this is the same cream that I used in the pie. So we're gonna do two cups. I was gonna tap that. All right, and then it's gonna be a quarter of a cup how cute are these measuring cups? So a uh, quarter cup of um, powdered sugar. So we're gonna go right there. And all you have to do is whip it, whip it good. All right, <laughs> couldn't help myself. So I'm gonna just stir it up just so the powdered sugar doesn't come blowing back at me. And you're gonna do this until it's nice and fluffy and has stiff peaks. And remember, we talked about stiff peaks in the, um, when we were making the pie. to show you that we add a teaspoon of vanilla. And what's so fun is that any other time, not when you're making chocolate, um, you can add different flavors into your whipped cream to give it a little extra pizzazz to whatever you're adding to it. Like for a my um, the lemon cream pie that I make through uh, the Magnolia Table Cookbook, 
I add a little bit of lemon flavoring, so it makes it good. Okay, so I'm gonna show you where we're at. We have the Stiff Peaks, the Mountain State Mountains. You give it a couple extra. Now it's time to add it to our pie. So you can be as generous as you want with your whipped cream. I am going to be very generous for the most part. And I'm just gonna plop it on there. And I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I want people to still see the edge of the pie, but I'm definitely not skimping on the amount that we're using. And then I will garnish it. Normally I would garnish it with some shaved chocolate, but I just dug through the pantry. I don't have any extra chocolate to do that with, but I do have some mini chocolate um, chips. Okay, so now I've got my whipped cream on. I'm just gonna do a few sprinkles. Not too much. I really wish I did have the shaved chocolate. It just gives it more of an elegant flair. But I work with what I've got, which is mini chocolate chips. All right. Okay, super cute. Gonna eat the rest. <laughs> but here we go. French silk pie. As always, I really hope that you found this um, video fun and informative. I know it was a super simple recipe, but for those who have never even considered baking a pie, I hope that this has inspired you to try this French silk pie. I also have a, um, le a lemon cream pie, um, again, just as simple with a graham cracker crust that is to die for. But um, I wanna take the fear out of baking pies because if you're anything like me, um, I was definitely intimidated by making desserts. Oh, my meow meows, he's right there. Um, but anyways, so like I said, today we made a French silk pie and for all you chocolate lovers, you're welcome because this pie is incredibly delicious. I'm gonna pop that back into the fridge, leave it there for the next couple of hours until I'm ready to serve. Um, but yeah, that's today's ta-da dessert. Um, I have tons more for you guys, not the one, not just the ones that are in the Magnolia Table Cookbook. I have some staple desserts that I'm just so excited to share with you. But of course, I have to eat my way through these things, so that'll probably be next week. Uh, another treat video. Um, other than that, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like what you're seeing, the main thing I ask for you guys to do is subscribe. If you're like, I'm not sure how to subscribe because I randomly found this video, I will put a link in the description box where you just click on it, it takes you to my homepage and you can hit subscribe. If you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up so I know that this is the kind of content that you want to see. Um, and when you, when I say see, it just means baking, cooking in general. Um, so uh, also hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified every single time I upload a video because you never know what it's gonna be. Also, I just discovered that I can actually go live. So if you hit that notification bell, um, if you happen to be on YouTube, I don't know any other way that it tells you that I've gone live, but you'll be notified. So you can jump on here and ask me questions. We can chat, be besties, all of that fun stuff. So you want to hit the notification bell, but you got to make sure that you're subscribed in order to do so. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. I hope that I'm helping you take the fear out of just doing you know because <laughs> i know a lot of us were always so scared to take that leap and then i'm here to kind of just encourage you to just go but um i hope you guys have a fabulous week and if you've made this pie i can't wait to see what yours looks like and tell me how much you like it so um all right well i will see you guys again next week thank you for watching and i'll see you guys again soon